Okay, so in this video, I'm going over the breakeven slash ROI of a 6 GPU Radeon 7 mining rig. Now, all of these figures were taken on November 8th of 2020. So be aware that the price and profits will change down the road. And all of these figures are assuming you're living in the United States. So thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of a Miner. So today we're gonna go ahead and do the GPU break even point and let's go ahead and do a full mining rig. And today's GPU we're gonna choose is the Radeon 7. So on the Radeon 7 mining Ethereum, you should be getting around 90 mega hashes pulling around 210 watts. Okay, so if you do wanna build a six GPU Radeon 7 mining rig, let's go ahead and multiply the hash rates by six. Your total hash rates mining Ethereum will be about 540 mega hashes and your total power draw will be about 1,260 watts. Now let's go ahead and pull up the prices for the Radeon 7. So if you do wanna buy a Radeon 7 right now, the cheapest place I could find will be on eBay. You can get a Radeon 7 for about $800. And then let's go ahead and of course pull up the prices for all the other parts and get a full mining rig. And now because we're gonna get a six GPU Radeon 7 mining rig, to be on the safe bet, let's go ahead and get two power supplies. So the other parts, the prices will be a little bit more expensive compared to some other mining rigs. Cause some other mining rigs, you just need one power supply. But for this, we should grab two. Okay, so now checking out the other parts, let's first grab a motherboard. A motherboard on Amazon, a mining motherboard is the ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus, and you can get one for about $90. So let's go ahead and put $90 for the motherboard. Now for the CPU, the cheapest one I could find on eBay is gonna cost about $35. So let's go ahead and put $35 for the CPU. Okay, and then of course for the memory, the cheapest one I could find on Amazon is about $35. So let's put $35 for the memory. For the storage, I did find a 120 gigabyte SSD for about $20. So let's go ahead and put $20 for the storage. And now for the power supplies, let's go ahead and grab two power supplies off eBay. So let's go ahead and grab two 1300 watt G2 power supplies from EVGA. And each of them is gonna cost about $200 each. So in total, we're gonna spend about $400 in power supplies. And then of course, PCIe risers. So for the PCIe risers, the cheapest one I could find on Amazon was about $33. So let's put that in. So $33 for the PCI risers and then the mining rig frame. So for a mining rig frame, you can get one for about $30 to $80, but let's go ahead and get a nice mining rig frame. So let's get one for about $80. Now I do want to mention there's also another part you need to get, but it's very cheap. It's called an add to PSU. And this will basically connect two of your power supplies together. This is typically needed for two power supply setup, but technically you can boot your power supply with like a paper clip. But let's just get this for the safe bet. And for an add to PSU, it'll cost about nine to $10. So let's just put $10. Okay, so for the add to PSU, it's gonna cost about $10. So now let's add up all the other parts and see how much everything costs. So $703 for everything. Okay, so now let me break this out. So if you do wanna buy all the other parts, excluding the GPU, the motherboard will cost about $90. The CPU will cost about $35. The memory will cost about $35. The storage will cost about $20. So for this build, you do want two power supplies. So each power supply will cost about $200. So $400 in total. Your PCIe risers will cost about $33. Your mining rig frame will cost about $80. And then add to PSU will cost about $10. So the other parts total came out to be about $703. Let's go ahead and now add up the GPU prices as well. Okay, so if you do want to buy one Radeon 7 on eBay, it's going to cost about $800. So if you did want six of them, it's going to cost about $4,800. If you do want to add up the six GPUs and the other parts, your total cost is going to cost about $5,503. But of course, where I live, I do pay sales tax in Virginia. Okay, and if you do want to add up my sales tax, I do pay about 5.3 cents for sales tax. So for this mining rig, the tax came out to be about $292. Now let's go ahead and add up everything and then if you do want to add up the gpus the other parts and my sales tax your total cost for this whole mining rig came out to be about five thousand seven hundred and ninety five dollars okay so now let's go ahead and check out our profits per day but we do need to add all our other power draw for a full six gpu radeon 7 mining rig now i didn't add all the other parts power so typically you arrange between 50 to 100 watts but let's take the high end benefit of doubt and let's just take 100 watts so your total power including the six gpus and the other parts is going to be about 1360 watts so your total power is going to be about 1360 watts now let's go ahead and pull up what to mine and check out our daily profits Okay, so now pulling up what to mine, and for Ethereum, I'm gonna go ahead and put 540 for the mega hashes and 1,360 watts for the power. Where I live in the US, I do pay about 10 cents per kilowatt hours. So if I hit calculate, I'll be making around $14.27 before electricity and about $11.01 after electricity. So let's go ahead and plug that in. 
So of course, using what you mind, putting in our figures, I'll make about $11.01 after electricity, paying 10 cents per kilowatt hours. So if I get the total cost of 5,795, and if I divide this by 11.1 cents, it'll take about 526 days to break even. And if I divide this by 30 to get the month, it'll take about 17.5 months, about 18 months. And if I divide this by yearly, it'll take about 1.5 years to break even. I'm going to do a recap now, starting from the top. So if you do want to buy a six GPU Radeon 7 mining rig, each Radeon 7 will get you about 90 mega hashes, pulling around 210 watts mining Ethereum. For six GPUs, your hash rate is going to be about 540 mega hashes. Your total power is going to be about 1,260 watts. Now for the other parts, your power is going to be maybe around 100 watts. So your total power draw for this whole mining rig is going to be 1,360 watts. Now for each Radeon 7, the GPU is going to cost about $800. For six GPUs, it's going to cost about $4,800. Your other parts total is going to cost about $703. So if I add the GPUs and the other parts, I'm going to get about $5,503. Now in Virginia, I do pay sales tax about 5.3 cents. So for tax, it's going to be about $292. So my total cost for everything is going to cost about $5,795. Now, of course, checking out what to mine, the profit per day for this mining rig is going to be about $11.01. It's going to take about 526 days to break even, about 18 months to break even or 1.5 years to break even now is this a good buy as of today now like i mentioned this in previous weeks i'm personally waiting for the new graphics cards the rx 6000 series cards and the new rtx cards so i'd rather get those cards but if you're into like radeon 7 i would personally get the newer cards and there may be other better options as well but let me know your thoughts Right, so thanks for checking out the break even slash ROI of a 6 GPU Radeon 7 mining rig. Now all of these figures will change down the road. So this should just give you an idea for now. And if you do want to catch me live, I do stream these videos live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the life of miner every Sunday, 2.30 p.m. US Eastern time. And if you do need any help, definitely check out my discord. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it, sub if you decided to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Thanks for watching the life of a miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan, so make sure you subscribe to the life of a miner. I'm also the narrator. Next time on the life of a miner.